The King's Media is awash with coverage of Prince William's trip to Singapore for this year's Earthshot Prize ceremony. Given that last year's ceremony in Boston was overshadowed by the booing, in the wake of the Buckingham Palace race row, and the release of Prince Harry's Netflix trailer. It is understandable that Kensington Palace would be anxious for this three-day trip to pass without drama or distraction. But surely, this can't be the reason why the Princess of Wales was left behind at home. The King's media have been quick to give their reasons for why Kate Middleton, a senior working royal, did not accompany her husband on this working trip. These reasons revolve around his grandson Prince George. They vary from his mum stayed behind to help him prepare for an upcoming exam, or exam that he's sitting this week. In Singapore, his father excused his mum's absence by claiming that she was helping George to his first set of major exams. Well, that all seems pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Um, not quite I'm afraid. But before we delve further, we invite those of you who haven't yet done so, to like, subscribe and click the notification icon, to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Okay, back to Prince William, and his working royal wife, who allegedly, stayed at home to help their son with his first set of major exams. William, Prince of Wales, departed for his three-day trip to Singapore, on the 5th of this month. So, if this project was as important to them as they have claimed in the past, why did Catherine have to stay at home, to help their son prepare for, or sit, a 2 or 15 minute exam, that he could take any time between the 2nd of October, and the end of June 2024? Yes, you heard right. The King's media and air, have been very careful to gaslight the fact that, this could not possibly be the reason why, Catherine stayed behind. Neither the ISEB, nor Lambrook, require the tests to be taken at the exact time that the prince is in Singapore. If the family made the decision for George to take the test at the earliest possible time, then he could have done so between the 2nd of October and 4th of November. It is interesting to see the King's media conspiring to put forward the narrative that Catherine stayed behind because of her son's exams when they must or should know that it doesn't hold water. It is astonishing that they can put forward such a lame story, symbolizing lazy journalism at best and propaganda journalism at worst. In the first instance, anyone associated with Lambrook or the independent school's exams will know that the excuse is lame. Secondly, it takes just the simplest of research to debunk the story. The collective attempt to gaslight the public is yet further evidence of the contempt the media have for the truth, and the general public, and, the extent of their collusion with Kensington Palace, to attack Harry and Meghan. The favourable media coverage of William and Kate, appears to be the reward for their joint enterprise attacks, on Harry and Meghan. In their coverage of the Singapore trip, the King's media have been very keen to show Prince William on his own. Surely, he must have been accompanied by some people at least one assistant, and some security details at the very minimum. The fact that the media have gone to great lengths to show him alone and put forward the trumped-up story about why Catherine stayed away, is very intriguing. We can only speculate whether the heir, may wish to follow in his father's footsteps, and uphold the long-standing tradition of the Prince of Wales, keeping a mistress. After all, Singapore, would be an ideal location for, you know, we understand that there are many of you out there who have a deeper insight into the matter, and we invite you to share your comments with us below on the reasons why Prince William would want to travel to Singapore alone, or Catherine would opt to stay at home. 